Hey man, new here? I haven't seen you before. I'll join you for a while, if you don't mind. I'm sure you'll need a friend. Why not come along? Great, we can talk while we're going. Tell me, where are we going? Or is it supposed to be a surprise? <laughs> I like surprises. Got no business in there. Beat it. How's things? Not bad. If you can cook well, you have many friends here. <laughs> Would you like some of my rice stew? Thanks. You could do me a favor. What can I do for you? You must be used to good food. I have a new recipe. Meat bug ragu a la snaff with rice and mushrooms. You can have as much as you want, but I still need three meat bugs and some hell mushrooms. Five should be enough. Sounds good. Then go and see you get me the things. The last one I sent just hasn't come back. Must have deserted to the new camp. Who was the guy you sent before me? His name was Neck. He was pretty discontented here. I think he's in the new camp now. I sent him to collect mushrooms, but he didn't come back. I want to become a shadow. So? I'm looking for somebody to teach me something. Why have you come to me? Diego sent me. You should have said that before. If you want to join the camp, it's an advantage to be a good fighter or a thief. If the influential shadows in this camp test you, they'll give you tasks you'd better not get caught doing. That's why the way of the thief would be a good start to you. Incidentally, I'm the best thief in the whole of the old camp. What can you teach me? That depends on what you want to know. I want to learn how to sneak around. I believe, no false modesty, that I'm one of the best thieves they ever chucked into this colony. But when it comes to teaching how to sneak around, Cavalorn is the better man for you. How can I improve my lockpicking skills? I can't teach you anything. Where can I find Cavalorn? He's hunting out in the wild. You'll find him at the path to the new camp. In this canyon, there's an old woodcutter's hut. Hey you! If you want to get rid of your protection money, you've picked the wrong day. Yeah? Why's that? Cause I'm not here! Oh? Where are you then? I'm actually at the castle, sitting by the big campfire. 
drinking a mug of beer. Then how come I'm talking to you? Nix vanished. This district is usually his responsibility. And until he reappears, Thoris has ordered me to guard it. Do you know where Nex got to? No, and I'm not likely to find out. If anything, the diggers in this district might know something, but diggers don't talk to guards. Especially not now they know I hate this filthy work. Let me pass. Hello. Hmm. I haven't seen you before. You are new here, aren't you? Just recently arrived. Have you already decided which camp you want to join? No, what do you think? Well, it depends. Each camp has its advantages, I guess. Until you've made your decision, you can stay here. A hut just became available. What are the advantages of the old camp? If you pay protection money to the guards, you can have a laid-back life here. They always interfere if one of the paying diggers is attacked. Besides, you can only get the goods from the outside world cheap here. And what if two people fight each other who both pay protection money? Then the guards just watch until one of them kills the other. Then they do him in. What goods are considered precious here? Everything from the outside world. Bread, cheese, and bacon, and above all, beer and wine. Not the cheap rice schnapps from the new camp, but really good stuff. You always get a good price for weapons, and armor is really expensive. The guards took the old armor off the prison guards after they killed them. You can always recognize them by their armor. They only sell it to other guards. I think I've heard enough. I like it here. What are the advantages of the new camp? If you're cool about getting your throat cut for a slice of bread, you should go there. No, it's not that bad. Here, Gomez takes care that things are sort of peaceful. In the new camp, there is no law. The only ones powerful enough to have a say there are the water mages. Why should I join the sect? Well, you better ask somebody from the sect camp. There are always a couple of novices in the camp, and I'm sure they can tell you a lot about the sect. I've never been there myself, but according to everything that's said, they must be really generous. None of the three camps seems to be as much in need of new people as the sect camp. Which of the huts can I take for myself? The hut over there with the little canopy is empty. What's life like here? If you've been sent by the ore barons, tell them I don't want no trouble. I'm satisfied with what they give us. Nobody sent me. I only just got here. A new one, huh? Newcomers always get into trouble pretty quick.
It looks as if you knew what you were doing. Nobody ain't complained yet, but that would be a bad idea anyway. Every idiot here needs a sword, and that is what they get from me. How long does it take you to make one blade? That depends. I'm as fast as a hurricane with simple swords. Of course, only on condition that the price motivates me. A freak like Whistler usually has to wait longer for his toy than other people. Why? Doesn't he pay enough? No, on the contrary. He gave me 150 ore for his last sword. The guy is into ornaments and girly stuff like that, and of course that's not cheap. Hey, you ain't curious at all, are you, pal? Well, Smith, how's business? Why would you want to know? I may have an order for you. Oh, really? And what? I'll think about it. Come back when you really need something. I'd like to try working here as well. Ah, but don't you think that you can make great blades? What do I have to do? Okay, take the steel and hold it into the fire. Then you have to lay the red-hot steel across the anvil. When you're finished, you put the hot blade into the water bucket over there to temper it. The cooled blade finally has to be sharpened on the grindstone. I see. However, you'll need some things for that. I could sell them to you. Hey, newcomer. I'm Mordrag. You should remember that name. You can buy any kind of goods from me at... Show me your goods. Choose something. Is there anything more interesting than huts to see? Well, you can go to the arena in the evenings, and it really is worth the entrance fee. Trading in swamp weed and potions from the sect camp.
the sleeper be with you, stranger. I'm here to guide you onto the right path. And which is the right path? The path of the sleeper. The gurus are preparing a great invocation in our camp. They want to get in contact with the sleeper. So far, he's just talked to us in visions. We'll need as many supporters as possible for that. Our camp is some distance away, in the swamp. What would be the benefit of joining you? Maybe you're one of the chosen people who received the gift of magic from the sleeper. Or you might obtain the highest honors and become a Templar. If the sleeper is with you, you can even combine both. You see, our brotherhood has a lot of possibilities for you. You should be aware of that before you decide on joining any other camp. Hey man, I'm Fisk. I trade goods of all kinds. Have you got armor for me as well? Well, I'm sure that I can satisfy you. Hi, I'm new here. How's things? Go away. I've been working my ass off in the mines for the last two weeks, and some sad lumps of ore is all I got. I talked to Ball Parvis down there. I think I'd better go there instead of slaving away for Gomez. You don't like it here? Why don't you just go then? Because I'm not quite sure what to expect there. I had a pal here. His name was Melvin. He headed off to the sect camp a week ago. But since then, I haven't heard of them. And as long as I don't get a message from him, I stay here. From me. I want to become one of you. I want to... Looking for people to... If you want me to have a word with Diego about you... What kind of favor do you want? I want one of Fisk's weapons. He won't sell it to me. It's a broadsword with ornaments. I'll give you 100 ore to collect the weapon for me. Some people never learn. Why won't he sell the weapon to you anymore? We had a little argument. <laughs> And? And that's all you need to know. Okay, give me the hundred ore nuggets. I'll get the thing. Here you go. I'd like to buy a sword, but not just a simple one. I'd like something more ornamental. I have one you'll like. The shadow who wanted to collect it won't be coming anymore. That'll be 110 ore. Interested? Maybe later. Fisk wants 110 ore for his sword now. And you want me to give you the 10 ore now? I thought you wanted to have that sword. Here, take it! I'd like to buy- I have one you'll like. That'll be one- 
Yes, I'll take it. You got a good deal here. I have your sword. Wasn't too hard, was it? Whatever. You do me a favor, and I'll do you one. If Diego should ask after you, I'll speak in your favor. Something about that. It was obvious that there would be trouble. Oh, I thought he New here, are you? I don't I'm Sly. I have a job on offer for a newcomer. You have a job for me? What is it? One of our guards has disappeared. He's called Neck. You're new here, and you'll get around quite a lot, so keep your eyes peeled. If you find him, I'll speak up for you in the camp. I'll see if I can find him. If you meet Fletcher, ask him about Neck. Where will I find him? His district is the... Hey, you! Are you talking to me? I'm warning you, people like you can get into trouble awfully quick round here. And most of the guys they chuck in here are bastards. They think they can do what they like to you, but we won't allow that. Gomez wants some peace in the camp, and we guards make sure he gets it. That's why I'm asking you for some ore. Look on it as a kind of token of friendship. Why not? How much ore were you thinking of? Not much. Ten ore. I don't have tin ore. Then I'll take whatever you have. That's okay. Let me see. Oh, I take small donations too. It's the thought that counts. From now on, I'll be watching out for you whenever you're in the camp. See ya. Don't you worry about anything here in the camp. Well, may I pass through here? Hi, I'm... I'm Graham. I draw maps. I haven't seen you here before. What? Diego sent me. He asked you to give me a map with a route to the old mine. No problem. For you, only 20 ore. Hold on. Diego said you should give me the map, not that you should sell it to me. But I'm not interested. Have you any idea how difficult it is to make a map like this? 20 is my special price for friends of Diego. Usually I take 50. Give me the map or I'll take it. Hey, be cool, man. I don't want trouble. Here, take the map and leave me alone. I am Baal Taran. Who is the sleeper? The sleeper is our redeemer. He disclosed himself five years ago through Eberion, our master. Since then, we have renounced the three gods. The gods just stood by and watched while we were exiled to this prison. How does your god prove his might? He speaks to us through visions. Whoever hears his voice no longer doubts his might. 
If you take the weed which grows in the swamp, you will be close to the sleeper and able to hear him. I see. Oh, my God. 
Can you tell me anything about the mine? Well, this part we're standing in now is the main shaft. And they're digging for ore everywhere. Right at the bottom is the smelting place. See ya. May I pass? 